Hi everyone, um, delighted to be co-hosting this evening on the Maroon and White uh, pod on YouTube. And my name is Eve Linsky. I'm from the Ardrahan Camogie Club. I've been involved with Camogie for years and years as a player and now as a coach. I'm a PE teacher by trade in Garth Community School and uh, Camogie has been very, very good to me down through the years. Uh, won a senior All-Ireland in 1996 with this girl here beside me. And... Um, have been playing uh, senior camogie with my club and still playing it at uh, the ripe old age, if I won't tell you. And um, yeah, what? Plus <laughs> that. Plus that. And I'm also a coach developer with the Connacht uh, GA as well. Just that's a, a quick kind of snippet of my background. And I'll pass you over to my friend. Thank you, Aoife. Um, hi, everyone. Look, at, we're delighted to be here. Um, I suppose um, Galway Camogie has been very good to me. I'm a former All-Ireland Camogie winner. As Aoife said, in 1996, Galway were uh, champions, beating Cork on the day, and I was lucky to be on that team. I'm also very privileged to have had great days with my club, Pierces. We won five senior club All-Irelands and, and three in a row. And I suppose it's fitting that we're talking tonight with Sarsfields going uh, for four out of five and hopefully uh, do, the, do the treble on on Sunday. Like Aoife, I'm a teacher by profession and a bit of a coach, a bit of everything really. A bit of everything. We, we talk a lot <laughs> and to be honest with you, 80% of it is camogie. We love the game. GA has been very good to both myself and Aoife and I suppose if we we're asked why we're doing it, just give a little bit back. What yeah, do you reckon? Yeah, for yeah. sure. And we normally don't start talking any at about 11 o'clock at night, so yeah. this, we're is early. this is early. And I suppose when, when we were asked why we wanted to do it, well, I suppose um, when we even go back as far as 96, yeah. uh, we were very young, very young, still very young. Um, there wasn't a massive amount of coverage on Camogie. And the only kind of person I remember doing coverage on Camogie was Sean Walsh of Galway Bay FM. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, there might have been a small section of like the kind of Tribune or, um, you know, small, definitely a very small section of the Irish Independent after the All-Ireland yeah. Finals. But very but little. Very little and yeah. very little um, local coverage by Galway Bay FM. But... Down through the years, for sure, it has become a little bit better, you'd have to say. Oh, yeah, the definitely. Likes of Darren Kelly, um, you know, our PRO in Galway, yeah, Sarah Gohan. Okay. Big shout out to Sarah. Yeah, well done. For Brilliant. sure. She's fantastic with schools, Camogie as well, and she's forever helping us out. And a big shout out um, in particular to Sarah. We'd be lost without her yeah. in schools, Camogie. And for as sure. Aoife, as Aoife said, yeah, it was only the, the local media, you know, it never really got to the international stage or no, national no. stage. And we were very lucky, I suppose. And we got little snippets, little snippets in the paper, um, but that was it. And I suppose... Lack of coverage leads to a bit of competition from other sports as well, Aoife. And well, well, in our day, you play camogie and that was it. Well, that's it. And the more coverage that's given to camogie as well, it kind of promotes the game within itself. Now, we've spoke about our PRO, um, you know, Darren Kelly, mm -hmm. um, as of late as well, um, Tommy Devane. Yeah. And our 96 captain, Imelda Hobbins, yeah. does be on Galway Bay FM. And our present or our past captain there Sarah Durvin it has, has been on it has yeah. been on as well and it's great, so it's, to great. Hear, it's great to hear that and it's great to hear as well the past players that have gone back and taken on management jobs and given a little bit back because you know we hadn't a lot back in back in the day we were lucky to get sponsorship I'd say we only got gear if we were in all Ireland final well, I still have my gear it's a bit old-fashioned <laughs> um, I remember we got a pair of socks and we got a nice tracksuit. Well, it was nice in 96. It was nice in 96. But, but I you wouldn't remember say the skirts. I'll never forget the skirts. The skirts now were no joke. Terrible. No. Just Ira is all I can say. <laughs> you would get absolutely scalded. <laughs> so it was it was a 60 minute job. And look, yeah. back then it was, that was the fashion. But that was that was the style. And they'd be worth money now. They would be worth serious mm. money now. We definitely have re we definitely have retro jerseys and skirts in yeah. in in our wardrobe. But look at saying that we um the memories we have will will, will last, uh, forever. last forever. Yeah, like, I do remember the one the major thing kind of from ninety six like the crack we used to have. You know, uh, I know we're talking about the promotion of the game now, but going back to ninety six, like there's an awful difference between winning and losing and. 96 Absolutely. to 97. Obviously, we got beaten in 97, but 96 went on. The celebrations went on for a full year. They, so it's yeah, no wonder we couldn't win did. in 97. They went on for a good few weeks, all right. And, <laughs> yeah. and it was killing me because my club, Pierce's, we had made the club All Ireland in the mm. same year. And I was in college at the time and I was sharing, I was actually sharing a room with um, Anne Hardiman and uh, Pam Nevin. And they were also on the team. Which quiet were, girls. Quiet girls, but they used to sneak <laughs> out at night, not want to disturb me from my from my beauty sleep because we were we were still training. We were training yeah. for All Ireland against Ballangarry. But you did what you did. 
Yeah. Yeah, but they were great days. Ah, great days. Great memories, sing songs. Do you remember Rita Cohn? Shout out to you. Shout out to Rita Rooster. and Emma Hardiman <laughs> oh, and yeah. the Lord of Mercy and Donald Burke and we on the oh, bus and, and we sing in the ha 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 and the he 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 and only those who are over eight, the age of 35 maybe will will remember uh, those good days and they were great days and look at I'm sure all Galway players have, um, have experienced all of that, that will and feel it. Ah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, look at yeah. and it's great to have a couple of our learns since then but it took a long time it took till 2013 to win again so with the promotion of the game it's like it's imperative that we do get the game out there because it is our national sport and without Camogie without hurling without football like you have nothing take take the pitch out of any parish take it out of take it out of our yeah, hand absolutely like we're down there morning noon and night and when we're not when we're down there we're giving out we're down there and when we're not down there we're going, we're going to back go down, down to go yeah. down to see we're fear of missing out yeah but definitely if we could get more more coverage and like it's kind of like sometimes the the women will go to a hurling match quicker than they'll nearly go to a camogie, camogie match. So match, yeah. if we have to build it within our own kind of within the, the ladies as well. Yeah, and uh, I suppose that's kind of what we're trying to do. But if we can promote it again, like I said, within schools, within clubs yeah. and in fairness now, Phelan and Gale is getting good coverage yeah, in you fairness know. to them especially this year yeah and we were very much involved just looking at teams yeah. being involved with the Galway under 15 management and uh, it, I think it's just important too Aoife that we that there's a lot of coach education has to go back into the schools for sure and we definitely have to collaborate with schools and clubs and uh, you know put your best coaches into nursery and start oh, to yeah. grassroots level and if we're to promote the game and to get more girls playing that's where we need uh, to, to start is get them uh, when they're young and be able to develop mm. them into fine players look at the fine players and to be honest with you we never we were we, I suppose we were some of the lucky ones coaching I didn't even know what coaching was you just went out and you put down your two I suppose your, your two you jerseys have a bit of, yeah. if you have a small bit of like it's harder for people that don't know the game that well it's easier coach now that's not saying that because well, someone is a good hurler yeah but you have to remember too it's mm. it's the way that that life has evolved we now have non-traditional families yeah coming into parishes True. and while it's fantastic and you know the the incentives are there to encourage your child it's very hard from a parent's perspective as parents we are to go home in the evening and to be trying to teach your child skills when you have no knowledge of the game mm. so i think it's important that parents especially non-traditional clubs are brought in and in involved in in coach education in the clubs and they as a result of them they, they have an interest in their their kids as well not saying that they don't but i we just seen it from experience yeah well even from the the courses that we've done um we said for martina do the introduction to coach and gaelic games um formerly known as the foundation course and the level ones and an awful lot of the time it's uh players that have played already and they haven't kind of got the tick the box we'll yeah. say course but an awful lot of the time even uh, we'll say families that aren't traditionally involved in hurling come in to do these courses and they kind of want a more practical approach to teach them kind of thing so sometimes it's great to get uh, people that know something about the game and bring somebody else along with mm -hmm. them do you know absolutely absolutely and like even for us as formal prayers coming back into the coaching scene you know very hard to easy with the form you're making a sound well well, well, we well, had, well I won't <laughs> say we're young age is honourable it's like everything else you know but to try and break down skills and build them up it's difficult for us as former players yeah. but once you've mastered that skill and repetition over time and you know you'll be encouraging your kids and encouraging young kids young boys and girls and young girls in particular to just repeat 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 and practice 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 and you know if we're to increase the coverage in in Galway Camogie increase the coverage nationwide we need to get into the grassroots level back to our clubs yeah. and back see to what's our going on and, and and see what's going on what would you think this like say every club like there's games going on every week but if if I if I can't get to a Camogie match, a certain Camogie match, and I look up Facebook or Instagram, mm -hmm. and I can't actually get the score, yeah, yeah, unless Sarah Gardner has it put in, or yeah. someone, or somebody maybe that's at, a, at a game, yeah. So like, we really should push kind of PR. I know there is PROs in every club, and they're trying to get kind of the social media going, but like we need to get more people in, and they're actually doing great work in our school. Seamus Hilney there was brilliant, you know, helping me with mm -hmm. the programs yeah, for every, fantastic. you know, for these school games. And we've really upped the promotion and the, what would you say, it, like that people know what's going on mm -hmm. when schools come over. Oh, yeah. And I, I actually meant to tell you today, if there was a school in Roscommon. And again, uh, very much all about the development of Roscommon. They're doing great work down there. But yeah. they're actually, Roscommon Community College sent me the most lovely 39 second video 
and they won a shield final and to some mm. uh, you know sometimes you call it the losers final it's not in in, in colleges camogie promotion. we're trying to promote all mm. of the time so the the coach in question sent me a 39 39 second video nice and one. it was thanking us but thanking you and me Aoife, and thanking i suppose kind of colleges for all the work and the development that we're trying to do that to them it was massive and you know what the whole school came out there was a thousand pupils going up and down the wow. driveway so wow. they were so excited so yeah. they're the things that count to me because you have your top schools in galway and connacht and but it's the schools at the bottom and especially city schools to get them up and running and it's all about player development and confidence going forward well, that's it. yeah yeah and yeah. like Obviously, you have, you know, in Roscommon and, you know, Mayo and Westport mm -hmm. are doing great work as well down there. Um, Like that you're constantly fighting. Well, not fighting, but you're in competition you with with the, the Gaelic football yeah, and, yeah. you know, or rugby, soccer, everything else. So while we have our game, let's hold on to it. But if we have it, let's promote it. And it's it's a mighty sport to be involved in. Absolutely. And not even just Camogie. I'm saying sport in general is great to be involved as you know, as a team, not just like single players, you know, or mm -hmm. single person on their own. But uh, what other um, kind of ways would you go about it to kind of help clubs promote it? Maybe an open day, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Some kind of an incentive, um, especially I just think maybe a nursery, get parents involved, maybe have a parent's day or a parent's workshop and you get them involved and hands on and look at gone are the days when you'd text a parent or you'd presume they'd volunteer you have to ask people oh you have to yeah. and nothing nothing worse than getting a text saying would you like to get involved because you can ignore a text so i think it's important approach them uh, tell them you want them involved encourage them bring them along show them teach them mm. uh, you know uh, empower them with the knowledge and then the rest is yeah Plain sailing because it's very easy, kind of give a thumbs down in a WhatsApp group. Absolutely, to not yeah, say we've you're done it ourselves. It. Oh, sure, we've done it ourselves. Okay. Where will we talk a little bit about source fields? I think yeah. it's important. We have uh, a big weekend coming up huge. and massive massive weekend for Sarsfields Camogie and you know they're the kingpins now they're the ambassadors they're the ones that we look up to um, they're going for their three in a row, row of fantastic achievement and um, you know I remember the days Aoife and I'm sure you do uh, both myself and Aoife were very privileged to play in in an All-Ireland final now I'm a little bit older than Aoife not too much but I never got to play in Crow Park for All-Ireland Club final day and I think it was 2010 I think the first All-Ireland final and Kilimer were in it and um, That's they, they 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 won it. They won it. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Against Inescara from from Cork, and I remember being at that game, and I was so jealous. And I was like, where were? Where was Croke Park when I needed it in 2000, 2001, 2002? So to Sarsfields, you know, I just think they are a very young, close-knit family and they're they're going to go on and do great things and hopefully they'll get over the line uh, against Dixborough uh, and, on, on Sunday. And look, we're very lucky. We're going to be joined by two great stalwarts from the Sarsfields club in, in a few minutes' time. But what do you think, Aoife? What do you think of their opposition? Um, it's like, obviously, Sarsfields are on the go a long time and they're mm -hmm. still... Still very, very young. Very do you know? young team. And, very young. Um, I think the oldest son, maybe 28, 29. But you know, they have, they had such a revolving door of great young ones coming through. That was basically from their nursery. So they won kind of like um, under 16, a couple of under 16 A titles Absolutely. and then a couple of minor, like I'm talking five or six in a row. Yeah. So they have all come now to, they're to come the fore. together. They're come together. They're they come haven't together. really lost anyone through like traveling or anything like that, no. which is absolutely brilliant. So it would be lovely for them now to finish off this one with a win. And who knows what's in store for some of the older girls, even though they're still not exactly, even that bit exactly. old. But they played Dixborough. Um, I know they played Dixborough in a challenge yeah. at the, the beginning of the year. And it was a tough encounter now, mm -hmm. the girls were saying. And um, obviously... Um, they're without one or two players now. Sarsfield's Neve is a huge kind of loss Massive to them. Loss, but, but I think they have the, such great players coming through that yeah. um, they want to kind of show, I'd say, for her to try and well, win it for her. her. Exactly, you know? exactly. And uh, she's been a great captain down through the years. But yeah, Dixford, there'll be a few great matchups, you know. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. I can't wait to see what the, we'll girls, see what the, girls, what think. the girls think of um, on it as well. And look at like any final, you're in it to win it. There can only be, I suppose, one winner. Uh, we're hoping it's Sarsfields. Um, I'm sure Dixborough are thinking otherwise. And, you know, they're thereabouts too. And I think as regards matchups, Aoife, you know, they're possibly on paper, they're very evenly evenly matched do you know the thing i found is um and i remember years ago when i was finishing college it was i done a project on why galway hurling uh was very very strong at club level and winning all ireland mm -hmm. but yet 
we weren't transferring it onto, and I kept saying, God, we were stronghold in Hurling. And like my supervisor at the time, no, you're not. And I was like, yeah, we are. But we weren't really because we won it in kind of 88, 7, 88. So I think with Sarsfields, it's the sister kind of hood. You know, Absolutely. there's a massive amount of families. And the same with um, oh, Thomas's as well. Is, but Dixborough have as well. But Dixborough have it too. And they have the matchups and they have the sisters. Yeah, there's Clifford they sisters. Have got, there's Clifford sisters, there's Phelan sisters. Mm. Do you know that Rachel Dowling is the first cousin of the Cliffords? They're cousins, they're yeah. sisters, they're best friends. Yeah. They grow up in the one year, just like Sarsfield. Could be mighty game. Oh, it could be brilliant. Yeah, I'm looking forward brilliant. to it. No, sorry. I, I can't, I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to, 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 to see it. It'll be great. I think... I think too, 5.15 on a Sunday evening, not great for, for Camogie coverage, but this it's, is more of well, a it's TV dictated again. And, yeah. you know, you know, I'm just being honest. I just think the coverage isn't out there and it's very unfair. Um, what about if it was a, a girl or what about if it was a men's final? You know, I think it would be very different. But again, not saying anything. Um, it is late in the evening and it's kind of, it's, well, it's late in the year, but I'm sure for the girls, they're probably looking forward to a bit of a break as well, coming up to the Absolutely. Christmas, do you know what I mean? Oh. I think, are we joined oh, here? Oh God, we're very excited. Yep. Is she coming um, in? Is she in? I hope she's in. Can you hear us, Siobhan? Oh, oh here we go. Hello, hello ladies. <laughs> hello. <laughs> 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 I'm Ireland. And Siobhan McGrath. Oh, which is which? You're like twins. <laughs> You're like Ant and Dick. Are you, are you in the gym? <laughs> Get something bad. Don't tell me you're doing workout already. That's no, the no. You're ex hanging at the back. You probably fall asleep at night with that in your hand, Siobhan, do you? <laughs> so, girls, how are you keeping? Good now, yeah. not too bad, yeah. All good. good. Yeah. You've been, I know you've been so excited waiting for this for the last hour. Eventually, we got, <laughs> right. we got, we got everything up and running. Look at we're, we're absolutely delighted. We're absolutely privileged. And this is just a conversation. And I was I was saying to Eve, I said, I got to meet the two of you already today. I was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sat down and we went through the, the, the junior B colleges final. I met Orla yeah, in the dressing yeah. room coming out after uh, an unfortunate loss against St. Rayfields. But again, it's a testament to both of you. You're so grounded, you're down to earth. And you'd never think uh, by talking to you that you were in a, in a club all Ireland on Sunday. So we're so grateful. How are you? Good now. Yeah, yeah we are. Um, to be honest, you know, like school and work life will be so busy during the week. You know yourselves. Yes. Exactly. And you wouldn't be even thinking, you, you try yourself not to think too much about the match. And I suppose tomorrow, even when we're training, you think about it a bit more. But I think it's I think it's very healthy not to be overthinking the match during the week because you just drain yourself and you tire yourself out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And and school keeps you busy. And as you said, you don't have to be thinking about it. And while it's still camogie and it's still classes, you know, you're not focusing, you're focusing on the here and now rather than rather than the big weekend. And you know. And how are you fixed? How are you prepared, Siobhan? What do you, is it different than any other final you've been in? Or uh, no, it isn't. In fairness, and I think that's something that um, is 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 very good for us. Anyways, that we're we're in fairness, we're used to being at this stage now with the club. That it's not a big occasion anymore for us. Do you know, I think yeah. the first time first time we got to Crow Park as a club, we were <laughs> geez, so you, embarrassing. Thinking you, about it. <laughs> Hey, Orla, the first time I got to a club on Ireland, Siobhan wasn't even born. So, <laughs> thank you. you know what we did? Isn't it great to, to say it, though, that, like, that you've had time? I got one shot at it, and we yeah. missed it off. We'll say no more. Yeah, we'll say no more. Yeah. But, um, like, you're, you're getting a great shot at it. And I was saying before you came on, like, it's all about, like, the difference in ease. And it's kind of like um, the Sarsfields of old would say, the hurling team brothers, sisters, do you know what I mean? And it, it yeah. builds such a, a brilliant kind oh, of spirit yeah. among you. You're like, you're sisters, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And even though there's a couple yeah. of different families, like some of them are going out with each other at their brothers. And <laughs> yeah. all, like, it's a lovely Very close-knit there in Bullock. <laughs> Very close-knit. <laughs> We're not giving away much stuff. Yeah. So that's, I'd say, is that part of, and the, the amount of talent that you've came through, and now it's really come to the fore, but... Would you say there's and you're not obviously feeling as nervous? You're you're going to be obviously very very cagey about them because um I know you played them at the start of the year just in a sh- but any like any matchups there that you've kind of that you've seen or with with the girls that's on the, the Cliffords and the um feelings the feelings Rachel you know Dowling, few of them yeah they're a tidy team like yeah so we played them we played them at the start of the club championship we'll say in August. Um, and the Bellows, the Bellows quite well in that match. Now, like it was a challenge match, but mm-hmm. they're a serious side. Like they've, they're a very kind of athletic hurling side. They're all hurling. They're all moving the ball fast. Like, 
and the serious pace in their forwards. We we learned that in the challenge match. Um, yeah. So like they're they're going to be a huge. It's going to be a huge battle and under no illusion just because it's a new opposition that yeah. we're at any advantage. We're absolutely not like no. they're going to come with serious belief and serious confidence to talk from that challenge match. Like so, I think it's up to us. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, and you're and like you know you're going in as favourites whether you like it or not, and oh, yeah. you know I've an awful feeling. Yeah, and I've a feeling though I, I don't know it's maybe in my bones that it's not going to be as tactical. I think the not fact that you're both hurling, yeah. hurling teams, you're going to go hell for leather, fifteen on fifteen, and and see how it goes. Yeah. And I think that'll be a that'll be a great game of Kamogi, but they'll still have a bit of homework done on you, no doubt. Yeah, you know, yeah. listening for a few of them talking. You know, you're your big household names as well, but they've household names too. We were looking at matchups there, we for myself. But you were saying they'd have their homework done. Of course they will, because Siobhan was wearing the the AIB. Yeah, Siobhan, you should have taken it off for that. You should have taken it off, Siobhan. Come here, and oh, it's, oh. it's great to get a bird's eye view of the great scores you got the last day, of the goal, and like magical. Do you know what I mean? Oh, geez, we heard nothing. We heard nothing. Thank <laughs> God, a few, did a few bleepers working anyway. Thank God, because Jesus. <laughs> well, she yeah. say that with you, you need a lot of bleepers. All right. <laughs> but listen, um, um, you know how your preparation at home. I'm sure with Dad and look at um, I think you're very grounded as as a family, and I'm sure he's he's all encouragement, and you know he he has to have been a great influence in your lives. Uh, definitely, yeah. I suppose he's probably the reason we are where we are today. And I'd say a lot of the girls, even not just us as sisters, but a lot of the girls on the Saracens team would say that as well. Like he's had he's had all those girls underage from under fives, like all the way up. Even like Neve, I suppose, would have been the oldest, Neve and Tyra Kenny. And he had mm -hmm. them all the way up underage. And then he took, say, Orla's age group, yeah. Claude's age group, took my age group all the yeah. way up as well. Like So he's had us all like, and I suppose he's... He drives him, himself and Kevin Ward and Kevin Curley, all of them, they drive such like, I suppose, a close-knit group amongst us all. And they kind of make it enjoyable as well at the same time. So you're not, you know, it's not always serious down a train and stuff. And I think that's mm -hmm. important because, Joe, you know, we, we, we have such long campaigns when you get outside of yeah. Galway, like so we're going for a few months, but you wouldn't stay coming back if it wasn't enjoyable and stuff. And I think that's a testament, I suppose, to them as a management team and everything that I suppose they keep it kind of fresh and keep... Keep you keep you wanting to come back, I suppose. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you, the, you the can fact see that they're that. winning probably is well, helping. The fact that you're winning is <laughs> obviously a magic formula. But like, you've uh, had, it's you've lovely. Had, oh no, but like, I think coming out of Gaul, we've had a six week break. Like, it's probably. Yeah. And I'm sure you've got a few challenges in, 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 in the meantime. But we'll say. The nerves. I know your the experience. If I was to call it, if I was to call it. I would be giving it to Sarsfields, but only on experience on the day. I think your matchups are going to be serious. I think it's going to be a 15 on 15. And I just think you have that little bit of experience for the big day. But you're, look at you know yourselves, anything can go wrong or anything can go right on the day. What do you think? Like we, I remember, like, I remember, I think it was reading Laura Ward said how our first All Ireland, we were, we were as good as babies. Like, we, came, we won our first championship, we came out of Galway. And we were, Thinking back now and comparing like the prep that goes in in our mindset to then, at the same time, we only came up very short to Slack Needle. Mm -hmm. That was our first Ireland in Crow Park. Yeah, it was up 2016, yeah. We were fearless, yeah. Like, and we were fearless, didn't show them any respect. And they were by far the better hurling team, by far they were, they were worthy winners in the day. But I'm just saying that like we went into that match with no inhibitions and we could have won that match, we could have stole mm -hmm. it. Yeah. To me, like I think we have to be very mindful of that like that. Just because Dick's for his first time in the final, I think that means nothing. Do you know what? A game is absolutely game. Yeah. nothing. No, you know, it's all right. But you have to remember, Schlock Neil, yeah, you, you definitely could have bet them, but you it's probably it's... learned so much out of that loss because sometimes I know they say you need to lose one to win one, but, but sometimes you, do. you don't. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but what have you learned, Eva? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I remember like we played. Um, What's you got? Um, Anna Geary's yeah, yeah. like you know, we were we went in completely blind shirt, sure. like so so close, so close. do you know? And and so close, then we got a free in the last like minute, yeah. and it just some things aren't meant for you, do you know? But yeah. I always uh, I always just the, the pride of going up and the pride for your parish mm -hmm. is something untold. Yeah. The amount of pride you've brought to the parish, like for the last couple of years, you know, and the men have done well as well. And we're we're talking about kind of promotion in the game, and we're saying like we hope that they support you, and we see kind of that they do, but we hope they really like drive it home now at the weekend, and and you bring like 
you know, the three in a row home, wouldn't it be fantastic kind of just for your families as well? Yeah, no, it would. It'd be, it'd be amazing. Like, just, I know, like, I know people say that we actually, we haven't talked about three in a row or anything like that because I think you're so focused on, yeah. you're so focused on the next day and just, like, getting through the semi-final, being right to the semi-final and getting, focused on the next day. Like, that's, generally, that's all that matters is the match itself and looking at Dixborough and taking everything into account. Like, if, if we win, if we're lucky enough to win, we'll talk about it then. But yeah. for no for no minute, would you, would you mention it and just kind of focus? If you focus on that, I think you're probably, you know, you're probably, you're probably lost track. Probably looking at the wrong yeah, focus. And yeah, and your mindset is wrong. Yeah, and sure, look, at it's a split second and it's over and it's, mm. it's, it's a win or a puck loss. A ball, yeah, right? it is. It's a puck of a ball. But like, they, you know, they, I'm just looking at them and, and, and you know, over the, the year there in the championship, they've beaten a lot of the top club teams out there at the yeah. moment. Like, yeah. so, you know, their 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 second half. I think they're second half performers. I could be wrong, um, but you, all of your games have been very tight. And do you think it's going to go to the wire, or how do you, where do you think it's going to be won or lost on Sunday? Yeah, definitely go to, go down to the wire. Like if you look at their last few matches, they were down. I think it was something like five or six points at half time against Lock Hill. Yeah. yeah, and like That's we right. know Lock Hill ourselves, we only bet them was it. A goal, I think, last yeah. year in the Lerner final. Very close. Yeah. yeah. And they bet Vincent's as well. They were, I think they could have been drawn at time or something like that, but they bet them um, by a few points as well. And we only got over Vincent's by a point as well last year. So they're they're definitely, like, they seem to get stronger as the match goes on. Um, and so I think that's something we probably have to be mindful of because even in our semi-final the last day, while we did improve in the second half, we still probably let, let Sarsfields of Cork back into it near the end. Um, like, and if you do that the next day against Dixburg, they're going to they're going to trouble us because you saw there uh, Ash McCarthy got a goal in nearly the last yeah. minute of the match. Like, so okay, yeah. you know, we need to turn on right until the until the last minute of the match. Like, you know, and like yeah. they're, they're and quite... Lisa guess as well. He, she's a great yeah. free taker. So I, I think if you kind of keep it like tight obviously and legal um but it could be a game of freeze as well you know because everyone's Don't going take to take any advice from her now <laughs> ladies, all right <laughs> <laughs> Here, before we let you go, we no, want to. Have you, no, 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 but no, but I want to hear a funny story. There has to be a funny story there somewhere. Like, yeah, training. I just want to say you're not to forget Mammy either because it's all daddy. I, I'm a hockey player. Well, I, won, there, I, won, I won an All Ireland Junior final with your mother. Well, I didn't yeah. win it, unfortunately. Our mad bet was in '93. Well, then you didn't win it. Well, so we got the <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we we'll say no more. But you can't forget, you can't forget Geraldine either, because you know she has down the the the, the maroon and white with Galway as well. So you know the breeding is good. But I'm sure Orla, you have a funny story or two about Siobhan. I have to, and so Siobhan, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to, do, but I wouldn't hear them here. I'd be embarrassed. Yeah, I wouldn't hear them. They would PG them. After, after what, what night out, you know, what but. makes your tick, Orla? Huh? What makes your tick, Siobhan? If Siobhan isn't going so well, you're you're so close there up front to the forwards, and yeah. you know what words supposed... of encouragement apart Siobhan's... from that. <laughs> apart from the bleeps, <laughs> no, she's, very, she's a very tunnel vision person. I think if she sets her mind to something, she'll do it, and she very she really sticks to her word and everything else. Like, I think if she wants to do something, she'll do it. She's very brazen, I suppose, and very stubborn. But I think my funniest memory of Siobhan growing up actually, and it's funny, funny. Um, there's five years of who knows, like so. She's she's the youngest. I would say the older, the older ones of us. I was by myself. Yeah. So <laughs> you're like the Kardashians. The so. Kardashians. <laughs> <are full on. laughs> um, but no, like so. I'll never forget it. Like morning and the night, she wanted to be outside. She, you would think she'd be outside with her hurl, but she'd be outside playing soccer or Gaelic football. I no word of a lie. Yeah. But wherever she sourced, wherever she sourced the football, God knows it wasn't bought. And <laughs> your neighbour. Yeah. And Siobhan, did, I, Siobhan definitely fantasised in her head that she was going to become like an uh, international soccer player or she's going to be the next unbelievable Gaelic footballer. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I've often to this day, I think if she ever persevered at it and was left at it, Absolutely. where she could be. She's so natural. She just, she's just such a natural player and she'd be kicking left and right, both foots. Like Gaelic football, bearing in mind now in the in the depths of Sarsfield, the football. <laughs> I know. I'll never forget it. She was just always First outside. Thing. Yeah, she was always outside with football um, when she was growing up, which is which is incredible to think this uh, like now, like. But yeah. I was never allowed. To, never even joined a club. Right? <laughs> yeah, so, no club was not allowed. Not allowed. You're football. a traditional family. You do not play <laughs> soccer or football, and you got the handy downs like like that was yeah. the traditional way. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. give us a story on. 
Or like before you hit. Um, I'm the actually having, there now. I'm just after thinking of one actually, just off the top of my head there now. Um, it was before before um, they were playing Fela in 2007. So Orla would have been, what age would you have been? 10? Yeah, 10, 10, 10 or 11. Yeah. She was one of the younger ones anyway. On. Before they'd won the county championship, so they were going down to Kilkenny for the weekend. And um, I'd say it was about, we were doing up our house at the time. We we had nice. a bungalow on. We were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were we were um, we were we were doing up our house anyway. We were getting an extension, getting an upstairs anyway. And um, oh, yeah. uh, the three oldest, Orla, Orla, Cloda, and uh, Neve, they were. Oh, what are they called? The the rafts. We were helping out with the rafts up upstairs in the extension, wasn't it? Do you know the yeah? So like, there's. I don't know what you call them, but they're on the outside of the house. And do you know the builders go up on them if they're doing oh, the roof? Scaffolding. 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 So um, she used to, they used to have races up at the very top oh on scaffolding. God. Yeah. It was crazy. Like, can you think Ooh. about it now? And they'd, be, sure. they'd start one side and the other one would start the other side and they'd be sprinting around anyway, trying to see who would make it back. Up oh the very top of the house. Like, no but, wonder uh, you're afraid of no one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's your SNC done. You started young, anyhow. Listen, but, we, um, could talk, we could talk for hours with you, ladies. Yeah. You're, you're an absolute tonic. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I, I wish you for the bottom of our hearts the very, very best. And our time is short. And I wish, and there'll be again, Siobhan, I'll get you again. Don't <laughs> worry. When you win on a weekend, we'll get you on again. Okay. Yeah. We'll definitely on again. Listen, the best of luck, and we're so appreciative for the two of you taking time out to, to just have a chat. And uh, we wish you well, we wish your families well, and we wish all in bull on the best of luck. And hopefully we'll be shouting for you uh, when you when you lift the Bill O'Carroll on, on Sunday in Croke Park. Mind yourselves, take care, and a pleasure Thanks talking again. to you ladies. Thanks take a million care. girls. Mind yourselves. Bye. 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 Well, now. Isn't that fantastic? That's mighty. mighty and, uh, that's kind of us. And then, unfortunately, it? that's it. Listen, we could talk for Ireland. Uh, it's we been talk a pleasure, my friend. All right, high five. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our podcast. We're so thankful to, to, to Orla and to, to Siobhan and to all the Sarsfields players and management and the, the community, the close-knit community out there. Best of luck on Sunday in Croke Park. And, and hopefully Laura Board will be lifting the lift, cup. Exactly. And get out there and support your support your team. They're fantastic ambassadors for Camogie. And um, let's hope that the Bill O'Carroll uh, Cup is coming home. Don't forget, if you want to hear talk more. to us again or hear more, <laughs> subscribe to... to the Maroon, the Maroon and White, White podcast on I nearly YouTube. forgot for a second. All right, take care. Bye, God guys. Bless. Mind yourselves. Bye, bye.